Okay, so um, I'm using a small tool uh, or, or some kind of a, a application, uh, which is called draw.io, right? Uh, which will help me to uh, draw the flow charts, right? So last week, like like week before, I have gave you this question, the problem number five for you to draw. So just check whether you have gone with the uh, correct scenario, with the correct scenario, right? So uh, yeah, so let me start. So if I'm drawing it for the problem number five, so the uh, problem is finding the area of the rectangle we got input process and output, right? So the way we went is like, first we have to say start, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, just let me know people if the screen is not that clear for you all, right? Uh, I'll, I'll try my best to keep things uh, in a much clearer way. Right, so I started, then uh, the inputs are going to be the length and width of the rectangle. So we know that the inputs are uh, inserted inside a parallelogram. So I'm taking a parallelogram. Right, and uh, I'm saying uh, input length. Right and uh, oops, excuse me. I'll uh, take a copy and say uh, input width. And uh, those are the two inputs. You can you can uh, say the inputs in the same uh, particular parallelogram, right? Uh, no need to uh, take two things. It doesn't matter if you take two things again. And there is a process where we are going to uh, calculate the area by multiplying length into width. So process, we uh, generally take it from a rectangle, right? So I take a rectangle and say area equals length into width, right? So uh, arrange the process. So And uh, so I have uh, taken the inputs, the relevant ones, and done the calculation. Now I need to display it. So for display, I need another parallelogram, right? So I'm saying display area, right? Always remember it should be something that you have uh, calculated or, or taken in the flow chart, right? So otherwise you won't be uh, able to use that particular word. That means like uh, taking, uh, like let's say if I, if I write A equals length into width, then I have to say display A, not the area. But uh, <clears throat> it is much better if you uh, represent things uh, in a way that the people can understand it, right? So it will be much better. Right, so um, yeah, I'm done. So I only need a end. So I'll take a copy of this as the end. So simple as that, people. So I only need to uh, connect my dots or like my uh, flow. Right, so for that I can take flow. Okay. 
So it's a nice tool uh, for me to use. Oops. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just uh, worrying about the, uh, the aesthetics. Right. So this is how it's going to be. So you should start, you should have the, the, the length and the width and the area will be uh, calculated like this and we display area. Simple as that. Right. So in case if you got anything uh, wrong when you are when you are drawing, it's time for you to uh, make things correct. And again, people, you can have this input length comma width in a one single uh, parallelogram, as well as you can have it in two separate uh, parallelograms. It doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, doesn't matter, Udamya. Uh, that's what I was uh, trying to tell you. Uh, people, just give me a second. Right. Sorry for that, people. Uh, Tesandu, uh, the application's name is draw.io. Right. Uh, that's the name. Draw.io. Uh, I download this from the App Store. It's a, it's a free uh, app for the uh, Microsoft uh, Store. So, yeah, draw.io. Uh, why is this? No, uh, this one is not allowing me to minimize things here. Seems it's not. Uh, hold on a second, people. Yeah, okay. Right. So, any questions regarding this, people? Any questions? Yes, yes. Dinelka and uh, uh, Udamya, you have asked the same thing, right? So, uh, you can you can just write uh, things like this 
in here, right? For the process, you can write, uh, I'll write those things in the, uh, within the brackets. So you can say calculate area and you can't just say calculate area only. You have to say calculate area by multiplying length and width, right? So you should be, uh, go something like that, right? Otherwise, uh, it's not going to uh, give you the enough uh, clarification, right? And even you can say uh, multiply, multiply, multiply length by width, right? Uh, yes, Tesandu, obtain length and width is also correct for the inputs. It doesn't matter, right? And uh, as Dinelka says, yes, multiply the length and width and takes the area. Yes, that is also correct. So somehow you have to instruct how the process should happen, All right? So that is how you are going to uh, uh, finalize the things, All right? So, yeah. Okay, so people, any extra questions? All right. Uh, does it, the C++ is something else, Buddha. Pascal is something else. Uh, I really don't remember whether Pascal is based on C++, but C++ and Pascal are two different things. Okay, so now, since we uh, talk about our second uh, example, and we draw the uh, flow chart for the fifth one as well, right? And <clears throat> as the third example, yeah, people, can you uh, uh, tell me what is the example we went as our second example? I think it should be a selection. The only thing is I really don't uh, remember now which one we went with. Here's in the textbook, which problem, uh, Dura Pudala? Yes, can anyone uh, give me an idea? Is it the seventh? Okay, right, great, great. So problem seventh. So now let's uh, consider like uh, how we are going to uh, create the problem number seven, right? Yeah, but I'm what I'm searching for is uh, is it good for you to take another flow chart over here? No, no mind, no mind. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Okay, so uh, now the problem number seven, it indicates whether this particular one, or like the, uh, we, we have given, we, the, the problem is finding whether a number is odd or even, right? So to uh, finding a number, Uh, Ravindu, uh, I was just discussing the uh, homework that I uh, gave you the week before, uh, the fifth one. Now, today I'm going to uh, move into the problem number seven, which you have written as the example number three, I guess. It's a third one, right? Okay. So, here in the problem seven, 
the question was the problem was finding whether a number is odd or even so the input they have taken is like they have taken an input so the process they divide the number by two and deciding the number is even if the remainder is zero and decide the number is odd if the remainder is one indicating whether the number is odd or even that is going to be the output okay so to clarify this what can we do is we can take the start right then i'm going to uh, do what first i need to obtain a number right enter a number so it's going to be an input so i'll take it over here to manage my uh, space over here input a number right and after that the process says dividing the number by two and then it says deciding the number is is even if the remainder equals zero so i have enter a number i have taken a number yes Tessandu, we have to uh, enter the decision function here that's why i'm going to talk right so uh, so we input a number then we are having a process. What should be the process? Process is dividing the number by two and acquiring or like considering the remainder. Right? So dividing the number by two and get the remainder. Right, so we divide the number by two and we take the remainder. And now comes the interesting part. Now, what is the interesting part? Now we have to decide, people, how we are going to decide this. Now, what are we, what is there for us to decide? The purpose of this uh, flow chart is to decide whether the input number is an odd number or an even number. So on the decision, we are going to show if it is an odd number, we are going to show odd number. If it is an even number, we are going to show even number. Right. So what are we going to do over here? We, we, we have to make a decision. We have to give this particular flow chart, a choice. Now a choice, a condition is represented in diamond shape, right? So what should be the condition? And the other day, I think I have mentioned to you, the condition should be a question where you can answer it by yes or a no or from a true or a false, a false, I'm sorry, a true or a false. So since I need to uh, maintain my condition on that manner, I'm asking the question is, remainder equals zero. That's my question, right? So what's the question? is remainder equals zero. Right? So can this be answered by yes and no? Of course. Right? So we can say yes or no. Like, um, I, I, I don't remember whether I have asked this question from you earlier, but I'm asking it again. Can we ask, or like, can we ask the same question, not the same question, like, can we ask the same thing in a different manner, people? Like something similar to this condition, but in a different way. Ah, okay. Yes. How are we going to ask this? 
Yes, very good, Adam. Udamia. We can ask is remainder equals one. So in my case, if we ask is remainder equals zero, if it is yes, it's going to be an even number. If it is no, it's going to be an odd number. Right? So in, in your case, the second suggestion that you have given me is remainder equals one. In the years path, or if it is years, it's going to be an odd number. If it is not, it's going to be an even number, right? So likewise, we can ask the same condition, like we can present the same condition in different ways, right? Okay, so now I'm going to uh, take the decisions that I'm going to make. So now the question is asked, if it is yes, I'm going to display, I'm going to display an even number, the word even number, right? So I'm going to display it using a parallelogram. So if it is yes, I say display even number, right? So this is my requirement. Right. If the remainder equals to zero, I have to display it as even number. If it is not, what should happen? I should display odd number, right? So simple as that. And then, I have to end it in some particular way. Before we end it, let's connect the uh, flows over here. Here I'm going to connect. I'm connecting my inputting number to here and my flow from here to here and this flow from here to here. And here I can take two flows, right? One is to this point, and the other one is to this point. All right, so I can adjust my flows to have aligned lines. Right, and then I have to end this thing, right? How we are going to end it, we can take the oval shape and we can make the end and much better, much better if we end it In, uh, you can end it from anywhere, like from any of the path, like that means you can go to the even number and end, you, you can go to the odd number and end, either, either the ways. And when you are connecting the dots, you can connect it like this as well, it doesn't matter, right? But much better if you can connect the flows, right? Much better if you can connect the flow into another flow. Yeah, something like this. Right, so it clearly defines what is the way that I need to uh, walk, right? So, in the matter, may I thought you got a heart again, pull one and lazy on the end of pull one in the body corona.
yes so i can keep this simple like this yeah so simple as that so what you have to uh, remember is yeah this and the weight uh, I'll, I'll give you the time to draw this right so uh, what you have to remember is you have to give all the details properly to have some output like this right so you are starting input in a number dividing the number by two and get the remainder and you are checking the remainder which is the condition if it is yes and if it is no what are the ways you should mention then and again uh, there is another important thing for you to do you have to say where what is the path that is taken when it is yes and what is the path when it is take when the when it is taken and the condition is not okay so you have to indicate it uh, correctly. If it is not, you have to say it's a even number. Let me have some more room, right? And if it is yes, it should be on this path, right? So. So you have to indicate by the side of the flow, right? So how it happens and uh, which indicates how we are going to go. Okay, is that clear everyone? Yes or say me as you ask. Is it clear everyone? Is it clear? All right, great. So let's go with this. Uh, and it's better you uh, uh, write a particular sentence, uh, put a star and write people, put a star and write, draw a flow chart, draw a flow chart for the example number three. This is example number three on your writing book, right? draw a flow chart to illustrate example number three. Correct me if I'm wrong. Draw a flow chart to explain example number three. Okay, finish this up people, then we'll continue.
Let me know when you are done, people. All right, one is done. How about others? Okay, two are done. Okay, anyone who is still doing? All right. So, yes, I want you to uh, try to draw a flow chart for the problem three in your textbook, this problem. Uh, hold on, hold on. Don't go for that because it has an iteration, people. Hold on, hold on. Yes, go with this. And you can write it like this. So this is going to be the question and uh, you will be, you can have the uh, uh, help from the particular solution given in the uh, textbook, right? Anyway, uh, it's better you write this question. On your textbook. Oh, you found a new dress. So have this as the question paper. And after that, you better add this stuff. I'll write it over here. Right, so after that, 
you can try drawing the flow chart. Yeah, Tesandu, uh, it's better you go with the solution number one. People, go with the solution number one, right? You don't need to write the solution. You don't need to write this part. Just by looking into that, you can draw the flow chart. Let me know when you are done, people.
uh, Udamya, if you can just send it to me, it doesn't matter. People, you can send me the uh, image of your flowchart through the WhatsApp, if you can. Otherwise, I'll draw it over here, then you can correct it. And Denuka, I received your answer. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Denuka, a slight mistake is there. You'll see when I'm. Uh, doing the drawing. Uttamya, let me see. Ah, same, 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 uh, same mistake over here. Right, and uh, this is, who is this? Is this Pehara? Three, four, double three uh, uh, number. Okay. So it is. Yeah. Okay. So uh, again. The same mistake, I think it's the, uh, since you are drawing by looking at the, uh, the code. Okay, this is the same mistake. Good, good. Almost okay, but only one place where you have uh, jeopardized it. Anyone who is still trying to figure this out? Otherwise we can draw. Okay, so Tesandu, I'm not getting what you are saying, Puta. Ah, question mark. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Rabindu, let me see. Yeah, yes. Yes, Pehara. Uh, no, not yet. I, I'll, I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the mistakes. Everyone, everyone was going through that mistake. I think it's because of this uh, process uh, word comparing the marks scored with thirty-five. Your comparison happens inside the condition people. It's so like if I modify the same uh, flow chart, I can go for a start, and uh, for inputting a number, I can ask for a mark. Input mark, right? And uh, D 
do I need to divide this by two? No, we don't, because we are just uh, figuring out if the mark is uh, 35 or more than, he is pass, otherwise the result is fail. So I really don't need a process since we are, since, since the scenario is describing from the words, of course it need a process, but here, look what happens. I can, I can simply ask, is mark greater than or equals? greater than or equals zero. And what happens if yes? Then you have to di display what pass, right? Simple as that. Otherwise you can display fail. People, can you recognize where you have went wrong? Yes. Okay, so like, we don't need to like do a process to compare the things. Comparing happens inside the uh, condition, right? Tesandu, is that clear? Ravindu, yeah, I couldn't go through of yours, neither. Hold on. Yeah, Ravindu, you have made the same mistake that process after the input, that process does not need, other things are okay. And people, when it comes to the uh, output in part, it's better you say some output praise. Now, when we are inputting the things, we say input a mark, enter a mark, obtain a mark, kind of things, no? So when we are outputting, display pass, output pass, and then show pass, likewise. Got it, everyone? Oh, yes. Now, this is correct. Yes. Uh, yeah, Uta, what's your name? Sasrika. 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 I'm sorry. Sasrika. Sasrika, your one is correct. Yes. Yes, Tesandu. The comparison is there inside the condition. We don't need a separate one. Okay. Right. Shall we try another? Everyone, shall we try another? Hold on. Yeah. People, can you write this down as the next question? Uh, hold on, hold on. There is a... Uh, Uh, Tesando, uh, about your question. Uh, no, it's like, it's like, uh, Tesando, not that we can't get the marks. It's like we are writing something unwanted. That's all. Like, like when that, when that, when that process happens, it gives us no point. Right? Okay, 
So let's let's uh, write this problem uh, in this manner. Draw a flow chart to find the larger number. Draw a flow chart to find. Draw a flow chart to find the larger number from given two numbers. Yeah, Tesandu, you can uh, write it like this, draw a flow chart to find, draw a flow chart to find, then you can go with the highlighted part, the larger number from the given two numbers. Right, I want you to draw two separate flow chart for solution one and solution two separately. Right, say in solution one and solution two, there are two ways. So I want you to draw both the uh, flow charts separately. Send me the uh, answers when you are done, people. Later I will uh, try it here. Yes, Ravindu. Yes, it seems, right? Oh, Sairi, I received an answer. Ah, oh, yeah, it's the previous one. By the way.
Okay, people, how's the situation? Are we still drawing? I receive an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yes. That's almost correct, Anjali. That's almost correct. If the uh, outputs could be uh, uh, written as uh, display in one. As large number will be much better. Then occur. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, Denuka, uh, second one didn't went uh, accordingly. Just compare it with the solution to. Udamia. Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. Very good. First one is totally correct. Yes, Damia, both of your uh, drawings are correct to her. Very good. And Rasandi, let me see. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rasandi, first one is correct. Go for the second one. Then okay, you send me the answer. Yeah, Tesandu, uh, uh, the one, uh, the slight mistake is like display larger number as N2. Or like much better display N2 as larger number. And display N1 as larger number. Then, uh, only the no path shows how to go to the end, not the years path. 
Ravindu, yes, we can add a process to the second one. We need a process to the second one. Tesandu, did you get what I had what I have said? Dinelka. Ah, much better way. Okay, Dilka. That can also be taken as an answer. Right? And Ravindu. Ravindu, a putaya photo is not that clear. Ah, okay. No problem, it seems to be okay, Buddha. Ravindu? And this is Pehara's in the order. Yes, Pehara first one is correct. Uh, Pehara in the second one, uh, your subtraction uh, should equal to the result or else you have to say subtract N2 from N1 and take the result. Then you can say, ask a question about the result. Okay, so let me do this. So many of you have sent me in the correct way. Ask it me. Let me let me see that again. Oh uh, yes, yes, yes. Ask it me. Your first one is correct. And again, ask it me. Uh, in, in your one as well, uh, in the second one, subtract N1 from N2, then consider it as result. Otherwise, there is no clue from where the result came from. This is uh, Sasrika. Sasrika. Yeah, Sasrika. Uh, Sasrika, uh, this count input number thing, that's what I'm not getting. Count input number. Sasrika, it's better you go through the process. Process, uh, again, you don't need a process to that. Uh, yeah, Ravindu, you can't uh, create a, a, a program or algorithm without an input Buddha. So no input means then there can be a problem. Okay, some, something should be input either from the program side or from the user side. Okay, so let me discuss this. Yeah, then okay, you had the same mistake. Let me uh, walk through the uh, solution. Sanditi. Yeah, Sanditi in the second one, you have the same uh, uh, problem. Let me go through it. So first I'll go through the first situation. So start, I'll say input number one and number two. 
as x and y. So I have modified uh, this a little bit, right? So I'm, I'm saying uh, is like input number one and number two as x and y, right? So I can uh, simply compare over here is x larger than y. Right, so this should be the proper way of writing it, people. Like, uh, if like if you are using any variables, it's better you say what are those variables. It doesn't matter what kind of a variable that you are going to use. Is it the m1 or the x or the ab or the pq? It doesn't matter. But it's better you clarify it clearly. Right, even the same one can be written like input two numbers and consider them as x and y. Right. You have to be very careful and very clear about that, All right? Then, regarding the output, if, if this is correct, then it's the proper way of writing it, display x as larger number or larger value, right? It, it gives you a complete answer, right? Display x as larger number. So. If x is 10, y is 20. Uh, sorry, if x is 20, y is 10. We show 20 as the larger number. Right? So same goes here. Display y, if it is not, display y as larger number. Right? It's, it's, it's much better if you uh, put these things in inverted commas or single quotes. Now, what the things that I'm telling you is not compulsory, but it is a very good practice that we keep this. Yeah, Tessandu, hold on. And Ravindu, let me see. Yes, Ravindu, your one is correct now. Rasandi, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Rasandi, you have to say subtract n2 from n1 and obtain a result, right? Likewise, then you can go with the uh, result. Otherwise it is okay. Tessandu. Yeah, uh, Tessandu for the second one, once after you take the numbers, then you have to subtract it and take the result, Buddha. Then only you will be able to compare the result. And don't draw the uh, uh, arrows in this manner, Buddha as you draw it uh, uh, at the uh, condition, that will be a wrong one. Okay, let me, let me do the second way. So how we are going to do the uh, second way? It says input two numbers. So I'm going to uh, modify this as saying like two numbers. As X and Y. Right, then before the condition, I have to go with the process, right? So how I'm going with the process? I'm going to say, uh, I can easily say it like this. Now, in you, you can describe this in words, subtract x from y and obtain the result. Or you can just say result equals x minus y. Simple as that. Right? No harm is done. Right? 
right okay so then now what we are going to do we can compare is result i know should be over here now my ear should be over here Ah, it's okay, Tesandu. Right. Now you can say is result larger than zero. Simple as that. If it is larger than zero, that means x is bigger, y is smaller. So display x as the larger number. Otherwise, display y as the larger number. Simple as that. Yes, everyone, did you get this clearly? Yes, can I have the confirmation? So be careful with your output in part. Right, always. Right, great, great. So, um, yeah. So next, I'm going to show you. Yeah, people, what was the fourth uh, example? Did we, did we wrote a fourth example for the iteration people? Yes, can anyone, uh, yeah, come up with the, uh, uh, we didn't be like is that is that all that we wrote about uh -huh. okay so uh, so it seems haven't we uh, went through the problem number two did we went through the problem number two people Uh, can, can anyone uh, uh, mention me what are the problem numbers that we went through paper? Just, just tell me. Yes, people. I remember we wrote problem, problem number four and the problem number seven. And what else we went through? As the very first examples, people. Problem three. Ah, we went through the problem three. Great, great, great. One, three, four, six, and seven. Okay. One, three, four, six, and seven. Great. Great. We can go with the problem number three now. Okay. Now, in problem number three, there is a selection as well as an iteration. Right? So, we have to be careful when we are drawing this, right? So let me quickly show you how these things are going to happen, right? So we'll take a start from over here.
so start. And what they are saying is input is the parcel of books. And the process opening the book parcel, taking a book out of the parcel, if it is a 40 page, give it to the Sanduni. If it is an 80 page, give it to the Anupama. And it says, go to step number two, till, the, till all the books are taken out of the parcel. Now let's go step by step. We start it and there is a, a process. First, there is an input, the parcel of books. So we can take input a parcel of books. Right. So then we have to go with what? Then after it says opening the book parcel, that's going to be a process, right? So I need a process. So I say opening the book parcel, right? So we have open it. Right now, after we open the book parcel, there's another process taking a book out of the parcel. So taking a book out of the parcel, still a process. So then, what are we doing? Then we have to make the decision. If it is a 40 page book, giving it to the Sanduni. So what could be the question people? Yes, everyone, what could be the question? Yes, is yeah 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 very good very good you can ask the question in two different ways you can ask is it a 40 page book or you can ask it is it an 80 page book Right, so the condition goes like this. Right, so if the condition goes like this, if it is yes, so what to be done? It's going to be a process, right? How could be the process? Give it to who? To this Sanduni, right? That is when it is yes. And if it is not, we have to give it to Anupama, right? Yeah, people, now what should happen? Yes, any suggestions?
ES Pehara, a repetition should happen. How should we indicate that? How can we indicate it? Now, if it is, it doesn't matter whether which kind of a book is, what we have to do is we have to take a book from the parcel again, since we have done this, right? So what we can do is we can take a flow to where? to right over here. And what happens if the, if we went on Anupama's road, same thing should happen, right? We should go on the same path. Right? So both the things, both the paths should go on the same way, right? Now our flow chart is not over, right? I'll keep this as a question for you. Still, this is not complete, people, because we haven't said when to stop this. Like, it will start, input the book of parcel, uh, input a book of parcels, parcel of books, I'm sorry, then open in the book parcel, we take a book, we check whether it is 40, if it is yes, it goes to this Handuni, if it is no, it goes to the Anupam. And we are taking another book from the parcel. But are we going to do this again and again, like an infinite steps? Or do we have a condition to stop what we are repeating? Yes, Dinelka. Yes, very good. So think about it, people. Right, so I'm going to discuss this by next week regarding the iteration. So you'll think it and find a solution, right? Don't just go to draw it on your books, right? Uh, so we'll, we'll finalize the answer and draw it, right? But just think about it, right? If you can just get a piece of paper, draw it and send me whether it is to get to know whether it is correct or wrong. Okay, people. Oh, yeah, Sudamya, yes, yes, yes. Give it a try, give it a try. All right, so I'm going to end the session from here just for today, people. I'm meeting you by next week for the very same time. We'll discuss about the iteration. Right, thank you very much, everyone. Have a very nice weekend. Right, okay, people, thank you very much.